Right you guys, got another video here for you. This is another Windows repair. Now if you're trying to update Windows 10 and you're getting this error message you're seeing on the screen now, then I'll show you how to fix it in this video. Windows update errors are pretty common and there's loads of different types and this one is no different to any other one. So you're going to need to try and fix it so you can update Windows 10. So let's go ahead and I'll take you through some of the steps you can do to try to fix uh, this issue. So, okay, so let's move on to the first method here. The first method is to disable your antivirus. Now, if you've run in an antivirus program, just make sure you go into the settings here. And if you look for adjust shield control, and you can see I'm going to disable this permanently, just temporarily, just to update Windows. Now, sometimes Windows antivirus programs uh, will start to cause issues. You can see this is disabled now and you should then go and try to update Windows. Next up, type troubleshoot in the search box and open up the uh, troubleshoot box. From here, you can then hit on uh, Windows Update and run the troubleshooter. And what this will do is try to fix any problems with Windows updates by running the built-in uh, troubleshooter program. So what we're gonna do is let that run. And once you've run this, you want to reboot the system and try Windows updates. OK, so every time you run one of these tests, try to run Windows updates and see if that error is still occurring. So next up, go down to the search box and type CMD. Open up the command prompt and run this as administrator. Inside here, what we're going to do here is run SFC space forward slash scan now. And what this is going to do is try to scan the system and find any broken uh, Windows files and try to fix those files for you so you can then update Windows 10. It will take a bit of time so be patient and just let that run. If that's not work for you you can try this next command which is the dism uh, space forward slash online space forward slash clean dash image space forward slash restore health. Now this does need to have the Windows updates to run properly, but you can give it a try to see whether it fixes your problem. Now this batch file here is something that you can run and what this is do, we'll rename the software distribution folder and also rename the caproot2 folder uh, to .old, okay? And what that will do is when you run the Windows update, it will automatically renew uh, those folders and sometimes you get corruption in those folders. So run the batch file here and let that run. A little box will pop up and you'll get a bunch of uh, things running, okay? Now you can either do this manually and do these one at a time or you can just run this batch file, it's a lot more easier. I'll leave that in the video description for you, so check that out. So what we're gonna do now is just check the Windows Explorer, just to check to see whether that file has been renamed .old. And that way, when you run the Windows update, the uh, folder will be generated a brand new one and the files can then download in there. So you will have downloaded folders for the Windows updates in there. And you can see this is now .old. So a new folder will be created. And that means any corruption from that folder uh, will be bypassed. Now you can also download all the update files uh, from the website uh, manually. You can see here Microsoft Update Catalog. You can see I've got in here the version of Windows 10, which is 1803. And this will allow me to download these files manually and install them. Now sometimes uh, by doing this, it just fixes uh, the Windows update by installing these. So you can see here, you do have an option to download these manually and run them. All you need to do is just download that file and run that file and you should be good to go. Now, another way of updating Windows is by going to the Microsoft website and you can see we've got update now and also download tool now. So we'll first start off with the update now tool. Click on this and run it. Now, once you run it, say yes to the user account control and you will then get a little box popping up saying it's starting. You will then see update to the latest version of Windows 10. Click on the update now and it will then go and fetch those files for you and start to install them on your system. You can see it's saying get your update ready and it will start to download and get all that ready for you and start to install. So that's just another way of updating. Now you can also use the Windows 10 uh, media, media creation tool here to update Windows 10 as well. So I'll just quickly run that and just show you. So you can see both ways. One of these should work for you. 
you can see here it's starting to get a few things ready and all you need to do here next is let that uh, populate accept their terms and conditions and then it will start to get a few more things ready and you can see up upgrade this PC now and this will upgrade the PC to the latest version okay so click next and you only need to run this and do this if you're still having trouble with Windows 10 updates and this will then start to download the latest version now this method does take a bit of time so you do have to be patient it's a lot longer updating Windows by that method next up we're going to go to MS config you can open up the MS config box here and you can try to do a clean boot do a clean boot on the system and then try to run uh, windows update so you can see here selective startup take the tick out of load startup items uh, we're not going to go into safe mode here we're just going to go to services and put hide at all microsoft services inside there so put a tick in and disable all and then all you need to do here you can disable all the startup if you want to go into the startup tab and start to disable all your startup items if you want to and then click apply and reboot the system and then try to do Windows updates as you can see here they're all enabled so you just need to click on these and disable them just like so and then you can try reboot the system and then do Windows updates and hopefully that will rectify the problem so one of these should work for you so just go through and disable these you can re-enable them after you've uh, finished uh, your task okay so all I'm needing to do now is go to the close box here and then click apply and then click OK and it will ask you to restart your system. So just hit restart and the system will then restart. Once that's restarted, you can then try Windows updates. Now, once you've finished that, you will need to reverse the cycle by just taking the tick out of all the radio button out of selective startup and go back to normal startup and apply an OK and you should be good to go you will need to reboot the system and that will then uh, put everything back now you can also put all your startups back you should see all your services running and you should be able to uh, change the startup back to the way you had it and then click apply and OK so once you've done that you should be able to move on to the next step so let's move on okay so next up what we want to do is open up the services pane here by typing services in the search box and this will open up the services box and look for background intelligent transfer service which is bits and you need to make sure that that's started okay so just to stop this if it's running make sure it's on automatic delayed startup and then restart the service and just to make sure just in case there's any problems and make sure you've got restart the service here inside this box here under the general tab just click start make sure you're on automatic delayed startup click apply and OK and you should be good to go so then go down to the windows update and make sure that that is running as well because sometimes some people mess around in the services and they may have disabled it so just go into windows updates you can see we're on manual here i'm just going to stop this and you can change this to whatever you want automatic if you want to and i'm just going to apply an okay and push start on that service to make sure it is running okay Okay, so that's good. So we've done those, and that's another thing that you can check. So let's move on to something else. Now, this is the Windows Repair tool, and uh, it's a pretty decent tool. And you can go to Open Repairs here, and it will allow you to uh, run Windows Update Repairs. You will need to approve this by saying, I understand and I want to take the risks and run this tool. And what you can do is go up to the top here where it says click here and choose windows updates and this will give you a bunch of presets for windows updates and it will fix all the windows updates that you may be having issues with so up the top here just do the drop down menu and you can see here windows updates click on this and it will automatically select all the areas that need to be uh, repaired and then you can just start repairs and hopefully this will fix your windows updates so just click start repairs and you'll see a load of boxes popping up just leave them running and it will take a bit of time but once that's run hopefully you should re rectify that problem and you should be back up and running if you're still having issues after this then you may want to reset your pc and that's what i would advise you to do anyway so we're going to wrap this video up i think we've uh, 
covered all the steps that you can cover for this sort of error you should be back up and running in no time at all and i hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you've got any uh, other problems or any other video requests don't forget leave them on the forums or you can post a comment down below and let me know what you'd like to see and i'll try and make those videos for you anyway thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support see you soon bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos